Hey everyone, today I am two weeks postpartum, which is awesome. I'm doing so much better uh, this week. Um, the postpartum bleeding is like basically gone already. It, I'm just basically like spotting and stuff now, which is awesome. So, don't really have to worry too much about that for very long. Um, the pain of my stitches and stuff has actually gone from the episiotomy, which I, uh, if you guys don't know, I got a second degree cut. The doctor cut me um, to to be easier for him to come out. So yeah, I got I got a second degree cut, and so it's healed up really nice. It's I don't really feel like it doesn't even itch anymore. It's um, it's doing pretty good. So. Um, what else? My stomach has actually gone down quite a bit more. Um, so, which is nice. And also, what else? Oh, I still, I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but, um, when I gave birth to Archer, um, after he came out, and even, even after the doctor had pulled the placenta out, because the doctor thought it was the placenta that was probably bothering me, but after Archer came out, uh, of course, the labor pain had gone away, obviously, but I had, like, this severe, severe, it was so painful, severe pain, um, kind of like a, a constipation pain, and, but it was so severe that I, like, I couldn't, I had a hard time even just breathing through it, it was, it was very painful. Um, it was like in my bottom, and I'm not sure if it was because of the, the cut maybe, I don't know, because the cut, of course, was only second degree, so it didn't, it didn't, he didn't cut me all the way down, he just cut me second degree, which is not that much, um, so, sorry, my hair is bothering me, I need to get a haircut, um, so maybe it was from the cut, I'm not sure. But it was a severe, painful, constipation kind of pain in my bottom, and um, I couldn't really breathe through it. It was it was terrible. It was really bad. And after that, it was still there. It was still there for several days, but it wasn't as bad. But now, like last week, it was there like almost all day long, like every day. But it wasn't like a severe, severe pain. Um, but then this past week, for about maybe an hour every day it would come back and it was just so uncomfortable it's like a, it's like a, I'm going regular regularly so it's I'm not constipated or anything but it's just like a constipation kind of pain and I'm not sure what it is in my next OB appointment I think it's on the 16th or the 17th of October so I'm gonna wait till then to ask him about it but if you guys know what it is um, you know then let me know or if you had the same thing let me know and if you talk to your doctor about it you know stuff like that so um, yeah, I had that, and it was just very uncomfortable. It's like I need to go, and of course I don't need to go. It's like a feeling that I need to go, and it's like a severe constipation feeling, and it is so painful, and it's very uncomfortable. So I'm not really sure what it was, and when I explained it to the doctor when I was, after I had given birth to, to Archer, I explained it to him, and he didn't really say anything, so I don't know, or maybe I didn't really pay attention, I don't know, maybe he did say something, I don't know, but... Um, I was just in so much pain. He was just trying to tell me just to breathe, just to breathe, because I had preeclampsia, so he didn't want my blood pressure to go up. And he noticed that I was in pain, which can bring the blood, my blood pressure up. So, um, he was just trying to get me to breathe and stuff like that, and as he was getting the, the placenta out, and even after he got the placenta out, when he was stitching me up, he was still trying to get me just to, to breathe normally, which was really hard for me. I was having a really hard time, uh, breathing. And not only that, but the epidural had worn off, too, so it was, yeah. Because I had gotten it really early. But I'll, I'll get into that in my labor and delivery video. So anyway, um, yeah, so this week has been amazing, and breastfeeding is going good and everything like that, and, um, yeah, I'm feeling great. And so, yeah. Um, I guess that's basically it to update you guys on on my second week. So I guess I'll show you guys my belly, and then I'll show you guys my weight as well. So I'll see you guys right now. Okay, Archer's like right down here, so.
probably get too close. Let me get. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get the measuring tape. So yeah, this is my two week postpartum belly. From the side. And from the other side. I want the shirt up, which I have this belly band thing. I need to get some coconut oil. I've been, I've been putting the coconut butter on it, but I want to get some coconut oil because I heard that the coconut oil is better. So yeah, just from the side, from the front, from the other side. And the stretch marks that I got were right around my belly button. This is the only stretch marks I got on my belly. I have a couple on my, on my boobs, but yeah. So, I don't know if you guys can see. I have stretch marks up here and down here. You guys probably can't really see. I don't know. So anyway, let me measure my belly. So I'm 33 and a half. So it's going down. Okay, so let me show you guys my weight. Okay, my weight for two weeks postpartum. 123.2. What was I last week? I know when I gave birth to him, I was 150. And I think I had lost 22 pounds after that. So, yeah. 123. What was it again? Whoops. Oh, 122.0. Oh, hold on, let me see. Because I know the edges aren't supposed to be on the cracks. Oh. Unless that's my correct weight. Oh, 122.0. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next week.